Hi everyone, welcome to Karen's Corner and to another Creative Wednesday video. So today I want to use my new stamping up uh, stamps and ink and stuff because uh, I'm a stamping up demonstrator since a few weeks and it's so also very exciting and I did film a whole video where I bought lots and lots of uh, I wanted to say Hello Kitty stuff, different channel, stamping up stuff. And uh, But I wanted to show you this first, so uh, you're gonna see me use it first and then I'll show you the whole video, I think Saturday. <laughs> oh well. So I really, really love this set, Lift Me Up. Hope you can see it, it's a bit shimmery. I love these balloons, I love to use a bit, I want to say old colors, but it's not old colors. You know, colors like this. No. Nope. It's a good start of the video. Colors like these, uh, I really love these together. But this one, Mossy Meadow, is an old uh, in color set and you can't buy it anymore. So I didn't want to use that if you want to use the same colors as I do. So um, I'm definitely gonna do something with this soon. But I thought I'd better use these. Tepper Denim, so that's one of the new in color colors and uh, Riding Hood Red. I really love this combination, but I do like this a little bit better. But oh well gonna use these. So I took Depper Denim paper and uh, it's A5. I don't know if that's the same size uh, as America has but um, in the Netherlands this is 10 and a half by 15 centimeters if you fold it. <laughs> Wait, I'll just fold it. If I can see it. That's a dark color. So this is 10 and a half and this is 15 centimeters. <laughs> So that's where I'm gonna start with. And I would like to stamp on uh, newspaper uh, paper or... Wait, where did I put it? This I've got this old book. And this is an old Dutch book. Uh, it says Waterbaukunde, which is hydraulic engineering. <laughs> I think something like that. It has all these water... Uh, I don't know, numbers and... It's a weird book. You have to know what you're talking about to read this because I have no idea what it says. But that's a very safe book to use because, um, well, I'll <laughs> tell you later on what happened when I used uh, a paper before. Uh, let me just first tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to tear one of these pages out. I think just two. And I'm going to take my big shot. So. So what I want to do... No, I'm not going to take my big shot. Wait. <laughs> First I have to stamp. Duh. I'm a really good stamping up demonstrator. <laughs> okay. So I haven't used these. They're still new in the packaging. Uh, but I want to use the large balloon. Oops. And the smaller one. And maybe some clouds. And the rest I'll figure out as I go along. So, I need acrylic blocks. Okay. Uh, I'll just peel this off. Oh. Okay. So, uh, what you actually have to do is put this sticker on here. But uh, I just think it works better if you just leave this like this and put it on your acrylic block. I just prefer that. So I'm gonna put these stickers in here so I can put my stamps next to it and you know if you've got all your stamps or if you're missing one. <laughs> but uh, I'll do that later on. So now I've got this balloon and I'm going to stamp it with riding root, riding root, riding hood red. And let's just put that one away. I'm going to stamp it on this piece of the... <laughs> Let's do that again. Um, well, that was just such a lovely... Oh. I really love this. This is such a great color. So, uh, I'm going to do... Shall I do a smaller one with blue? Denim. So 
usually when I have a new one, I just try it one more uh, one time first, and then do it again. Uh, oops. Okay, so what I wanted to tell you, what I wanted to warn you about, uh, with this one it's okay, but you have to watch out what you stamp on. <laughs> so this is a book about uh, water hydraulics, well, can't go wrong there, but uh, but still you have to be careful what you stamp, because uh, I had a stamp, if you have a stamp of a flower or a big heart or something, there will be lots of words in there, so here you can't read it, but there are stamps where you can read it. And I had uh, made a card once for a magazine, and uh, I was so glad I found saw it before they printed it. I made a new card because I had this, um, I think it was a penguin. <laughs> and uh, I stamped it on a piece of paper and it was about a beautiful park in Amsterdam. So I thought I can't go wrong there. It's a park and there are no weird words in this park, uh, in this article. So when I made the card, I looked at it and I saw the word condom smack in the middle of my stamp. <laughs> What happened is that they said, this park is very beautiful and very peaceful and we don't want to have condoms lying around. That was the only weird thing they said in the article and that word condom was smack in the middle of my stamp. So when you stamped on the paper, just see what it says if you that you don't have any weird things, because that happened to me. And also foreign papers, guys. Um, I have a Chinese paper and I always look for the uh, showbiz section. You can't go wrong there, I hope. Because if you take something from the front page and you have a lovely flower or a heart or something and when a Chinese person sees it, it says 20 people died in a car accident. That's not a lovely card. So be aware <laughs> what you use. That's just what I wanted to warn you about because, uh, yeah, can't have that happening. Okay, now let's get started. I dabble a lot in my videos. Here we go. I've got my big shot and my magnetic plate. So now I need uh, my thin lids, dies up and away from stamping up and Let's see if they are in here. I haven't opened it yet. Oh, thank you. They are. So I want this one and this one. And I think I'm going to use the two clouds as well. Okay, for the clouds, I'm just going to take a color. This is Marina Mist. I don't know if it's still available, but uh, I like the color. So <laughs> here he goes again. This is a nice video. This is going very well, isn't it? Um, where are my clouds? Okay, I can handle this. <laughs> okay, everything is sliding from my desk now. Okay, um, so I'm gonna put one over here and one over here. And um, put it over here. So I can just cut this out at, in one go. Where were we? I'm gonna take this. I'm not really organized today, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just one of those days. So, the fun part of a magnetic plate is that you can put this on here and it should stay on. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, this one works. It's the wrong cloud, but it works. Why won't it stay on? That's not right. Okay, well... It's being a bit weird, but oh well. Okay, let's try that. Um, right, I have to turn it around. To do this. Oh boy, hope this works. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing today. Should have put this one on the... Oh, guys! Let's start over. Right, let's do that again. that again. One cloud, one balloon. Hmm. 
Okay, have you ever have this happening? See that? It's magnetic, but it just keeps... It's like it's pushing it away. Then you think that this one is magnetic as well, but it isn't. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do that one separately. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. It's gonna be one of those videos. Okay, so I've got this balloon. Oh, that looks really nice. And this cutie. And one cloud. Somehow it seemed like this was magnetic. <laughs> Difficult word. Somehow it seemed like this one was magnetic too. So it just, they you know, not attract each other, but push it away. Oh well. Okay, so I've got this background and now I want to take another piece of paper. So I'm just gonna take well, with words and lots of... I have no idea what this says. I, I These are islands, Ameland, Schiermonnik Oog. These are islands uh, in the Netherlands, but I don't know what it means. Who cares? It's funny. So I want, I think, something like this. You can measure this if you want, but I like to do it just like this. Maybe it's too small now, but who cares? I'll just get a new page. I think it's a bit too small. Oh my gosh, this video is going really well. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I want the card that I'm gonna stamp on to be about this size and that is about eight and a half centimeters by thirteen and a half I think wool something like that so I'm gonna take my cutting machine and I wanted to use Sahara sandpaper which I put somewhere over here over here I really like this color I think with a paper or is it boring ah oh, let's just try it okay so what did I say ten and a half by no eight and a half by I think thirteen and a half centimeters um I'm gonna make it eight by thirteen. Eight by a little less than thirteen. <laughs> okay, this is good. So luckily this is a very thick book, so I can get a new page. Which one looks nice? This one looks nice. <laughs> so if this one doesn't work, I've got some pages to go. I'm gonna do it different this time, so I'm gonna tear it over here because that's easy. And over here. Oops. And I'm gonna put this over here and oh, wasn't too bad what I had, I think. Let's see, it still fits. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna need that book. <laughs> this is kind of nice, but I'm just gonna try it one more time. Goodness, guys, what's going on with me today? Okay, I can handle that. As I said, I've got enough pages to use. <laughs> and I really need them. Okay, from now on it's gonna go all very well. Otherwise it's gonna be a long video. Here we go again. Not too straight. And this side. That's a bit better. <sighs> it's a 
probably too large. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, this is what I want. All right, well. <laughs> now I probably lost my balloons and stuff. No, they're over here. So, first guys, a tip. If you finished with your dies, put them back immediately because you don't want to lose them. Uh, so I used two clouds. And this one, I don't know where they, how they were adhered. Oh well. Did I use a little cloud? Yes, I did. Did I put it back? See, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I... Right. I th this was a small one, wasn't it? Yes, I put it back. And there's... A And I dropped a die and I have no idea where it was so I'm just gonna put it over here so I don't lose it <laughs> well isn't this a great video <laughs> let me just throw this away <laughs> okay haha -ha. we did it okay now I hope this is nice that this isn't too boring the color I mean well first I'm gonna start stamping um, wait, wait a minute. Let me get a bit of paper. Piece of paper. I'm going to start using my Timeless Textures. I really, really love this set. I always have it near me because it has these great, well, Timeless Textures. So I think I'm going to use, um, oh well, it doesn't matter. Oh, I really love all of them. <laughs> then why have I got such trouble? I love this one and maybe the, this textured one and always a couple of dots. You always need a couple of dots. So, more acrylic blocks. The question is, shall I use um, red or blue? The answer is blue. Well, thank you. That was a good idea. Um, but I think I'm going to use a bit of light blue. So this is the Marina Mist. As I said, I don't know if it's still available, but any light blue will do. <laughs> so I'm just going to stamp it a bit <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is the weirdest video I think I've ever made. Just give it a bit texture. And now I want to use, of course, a kitchen sponge. Ah, and I've got one here. Because I always need to do this. Okay. That's nice. I can go a bit like this. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp some um, clouds. Where did I leave them? The larger one. And I'm going to use dapper denim for that. No, that's for the balloons. I wanted to stamp some balloons on here, but I think... Let's just do something. Some clouds. And I am going to stamp a red balloon. This one over here, so this one is gonna go over there, and then maybe this over there, and a little blue one. And I'm gonna use Depidenum for that one, so like this. It's nice if you stamp it a bit off the side of your paper. Don't overthink it. So let's just get this card assembled. First, I think I'm going to put some. <laughs> I just closed it. Some Depper Denim. 
around the edges of this one and I can use this sponge, it's okay. Just a little bit. Okay. So, I'm going to use some double-sided tape. And I'm not gonna put it too near the edge, that away, <laughs> because uh, I like it if it's just, um, yeah, how do I say that? I don't even know how to say that in Dutch. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have no idea. Isn't this the best video you ever saw? Uh, I, I don't want it to be really stuck at the edges. I really don't know how to say that. Let's just say I like the look I'm going for. I can show you, I think. So now I have to put this on here a bit, like this. So I can... <laughs> it's really not working today, is it? So I can put this, you know, a bit omhoog, I wanted to say, which is Dutch. Just curl it up a bit. Haha, <laughs> that wasn't so difficult. I just want to curl the edges a bit like that. And then this one, again with my tape, because I really love to use that. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's see if I can get this one a bit in the middle. Right. So it says, Linkerzijde van den oude ezel. There are no bad words over here. You really have to check that. It's best to check it before you glue it on, of course. Sometimes you can just have a weird sentence that has nothing to do with the article, but really is weird. But this is okay. So, now I want to put these on here. This one. Oh, and this one. It's a bit of a busy card, but I kind of like it. I want the cloud like this. Mm. Do I want a cloud? Yes, I do. It's nice. And again with just a little piece of tape. Okay. Um. <laughs> Guys, it's not my day today. I actually wanted to use this to put it around the card, but I already glued it on. But I think it would be too much. It's kind of a busy card like this. So I think I'm just gonna glue these on and put a sentiment over here. So for that I'm going to use foam tape and I did have my stamping up foam tape which I really love because it's just the right size, the thickness of it. <laughs> uh, this is just a bit too... well I don't think it's thick enough but oh well it'll do. But I really love those um, foam cubes, they're not cubes actually, from stamping up so much that I'm out. <laughs> Need to buy more. But this works as well guys, so... And... I'm going to put, oops, a little piece of tape. That's too big. on the basket because then it'll stick to the paper. I like that effect. So let's just see this one over here. No, I don't like that. Hmm. I thought it would be nice if it would... Uh... Wait, what? Let me just fix that with a little bit of foam. I thought it would be nice to stick it uh, to the card so you get a bit of uh, depth in it, but uh, I don't like it. This is way better. Yeah, because it's soaring in the sky, it's not stuck to the sky. So that was kind of stupid. Now for the other balloon. I think two will do. Huh, that rhymes. I'm going to put that one over here. Close to that one. And now I want a sentiment over here. And I might do that on a piece of paper, which I all threw away. <laughs> I've got some over here. So I can use this piece. So let's just... So 
but I have to find a punch. Wait a second. Okay, so I can use a ticket, which I actually kind of like. Uh, well, or this one. No, I'm going for the ticket. Okay. So, um, I'm going to stamp a sentiment. <laughs> that flew away. Where did I leave my sentiments? Here it is. Uh, love is in the air. Actually, I would just want to say happy birthday. So I'm gonna get another set. I'm going to use a stamp from my uh, custom tea set, which is really nice. I want to use this one with paper as well. It will be awesome <laughs> to have a t-shirt with a uh, text on it. So I'm gonna go for congrats if I can find it. Oh, well, sure I can find it. It's a clear stamp. Um, so congrats, and I'm going to use blue, I think. Um, so first I'm gonna see if I've got it ah, upside down, of course. Wait, let me just do that again. Okay, I can handle this. Oh, come on, what's going on? Stay, but the other way around. Okay. Right, let's just pretend that didn't happen and this didn't happen as well. I'm just gonna put congrats over here. And I'm gonna take my punch and find the middle. And now I'm gonna take red. And I don't have any other kitchen sponge at hand, so I'm just gonna cut this off and use this part. Haha. <laughs> okay. Okay, I really like that. I would have loved to put a little ribbon over there. <laughs> Can I do that still, or will it? ruin the card. No, it's really sticking on there, so <laughs> I really want to do that. Ah, my battery is flashing. Just a second, I have to put in a new battery. So, new battery, and I did try to take this off in the meanwhile and I tore it all, but I think I can make it nicer like this, so I'm just going to put this under here and get me some new tape. So it's better to do this before you glue it to the card. Uh, but well, this has been a weird video, so uh, I think I could add this as well. Come on. I'm a bit hungry, I think, guys. My hands are a bit shaking. So... First, of course, put this in here, because that's what it was all about. And then I'm going to glue this back on. Perfect! So now I'm going to see if I want this over here. Or over here. So I'm just gonna tie it like this. I'm not gonna make a bow, I'm just gonna try and tie it with two knots like this and just cut this off and cut this off right and now I have to put this over here <laughs> so I'm gonna put one over here and one over here so I hope the string will go in the middle I know that's hoping quite a lot, but... Ha! It worked! Ta-da! I really like this, so it's better if you just do that first, but, uh, well, it ended up okay. So, guys, uh, it was kind of a struggle to get this card, but now it's finished. I really love this one. So I think I'm gonna make more, and they're not gonna take as long as they did now. <laughs> They'll be finished really quickly. <laughs> But uh, this is really a quick and easy. Okay, guys, this was a really weird video. It all went a bit wrong, but uh, I'm good at that. Uh, it really is an easy card. And I was telling you that 
But then uh, my battery died and after that I put in a new battery and then the memory card was out of memory space. So I had to put in a new memory card. That never happened to me before. But that's the first time for everything. So anyway, I have no idea where I was, but uh, I hope you liked the video. Hope you liked my card. I liked how it turned out, even though it was a bit of a struggle. But I am going to make more of these because I really love this one. And um, it really is very easy, but I just make it look difficult. <laughs> So I hope you're still going to give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> and if you want to see more of my wonderful videos, then just please subscribe. Groetjes from Holland. Bye.